The Philadelphia Eagles continue to dominate the headlines on day three of free agency by reeling in running back DeMarco Murray. Murray signed a five-year deal worth $42 million, money the Cowboys just weren't willing to match, no matter how important Murray was to their offense in 2014. The Eagles also on Thursday signed Chargers running back Ryan Matthews to completely overhaul that backfield. Cornerback Antonio Cromartie rejoining the New York Jets while he'll team up with Darrell Rivas once again, and running back Justin Forsett re-signing with the Baltimore Ravens where he had a breakout season last year. Murray's choice will have a big impact on the NFC East where he arrives into a high pressure situation in Philadelphia. Chip Kelly has made the boldest moves in free agency and even though Murray led the NFL in rushing last year, he's going to be constantly compared to LaShawn McCoy. So while it's too early to know if adding Murray has truly made the Eagles better, right now it's a move that has made the Cowboys, the defending division champion, worse. With the amount of money the Cowboys want to spend, there is no comparable running back available in the market. So Dallas will likely have to look to the draft in order to replace DeMarco Murray. The defending Super Bowl champion New England Patriots have been among the quietest teams in free agency. Since re-signing safety Devin McCourty, the Patriots have watched their rivals make major moves. From the Bills trading for McCoy and pursuing wide receiver Percy Harvin, to the Dolphins handing out the year's biggest free agent contract to defensive tackle in Dominican Sue, and the Jets overhauling that secondary with Revis, Cromartie, and Buster Screen. So while we can never write off the Patriots because of Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, and Bill Belichick, it's fair to wonder if the rest of the division has finally done enough for someone to finally knock off New England. The second wave of free agency is now underway, with most of the marquee players off the market, but there are still a number of quality veterans available, including wide receivers Stevie Johnson and Dwayne Bowe, who were both released by their old teams on Thursday, and defensive tackles Nick Fairley and Terrence Knighton. Look for all of these players to generate plenty of interest in coming days and will probably be off the market by the end of the weekend.